What is up, everybody? Welcome into today's video. I am Hustle, and today we are going to be diving into the top five low cap altcoins in my opinion, to take advantage of, invest in now, and start those positions. And when the gaming bull run and the next cycle comes around, you will be vastly set up for success in that time period. And these are different types of projects. Some of them are ecosystem tokens. Some of them are infrastructure that helps build out games. Some of them are individual games. Some of them are game launchers. So I'm going to give you five crypto gaming altcoins in this video that are all very low market cap, under $50 million market caps on the circulating supply, and these all have massive upside potential. I will go ahead and tell you why in this video. Be sure to drop down and hit the like button and subscribe for more every single week here on the Hustlepedia channel. We are going to be posting more content here, uh, more of the uh, content that we usually do over on Crypto Banter will sometimes now be migrated over here. So be on the lookout. Subscribe to this channel, the Hustlepedia channel, channel for more videos here every single week. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So I posted this on Twitter and I said, what are your favorite under the radar gaming tokens heading into the next bull run? Aside from the main tokens that everybody likes, you know, the Galas, the Vulcan Forge, the uh, Immutable Xs, these types of projects, which I'm super bullish on as well, and I already have my bags packed on a lot of these. But what about the under-the-radar projects? What about the stuff that not a lot of people talk about and maybe not a lot of people even know about at this point, considering the low market cap versus the high utility of the products being built? So I mentioned a couple tickers here, and we're going to go over those in this video. First and foremost, number one, Altura. Altura is my number one low market cap play heading into the next cycle, and I will tell you exactly why. So what I am looking at with Altura, I want projects that are going to be utilized by multiple developers, multiple games, and their tech is 100% looking to be one of the best all around Web3 SDKs in the industry. And at a $30 million market cap, I'll give you my projections here in just a moment. But one reason I am very bullish on Altura is they allow developers from the Web2 space to come in and say, okay, we have no idea how to code a smart contract. We have no idea how to make a token. We have no idea how to put NFTs in our game. We have no idea how to make these NFTs be able to level up on chain. And that's exactly what Altura does. So Altura can hold your hand and walk you through step by step A to Z and put NFTs, put blockchain into your game. They are a Unity verified solution, just like Immutable X is, just like MetaMask is. And I think that's huge for the integration of these assets. They can put assets, chains, and tokens on any chain from Ethereum, Binance, Avalanche, Polygon, Phantom, Optimism, and Arbitrum. They can do assets. They can do different token types. I am very bullish on Altura because they will be able to help Web2 developers who, especially in the bull run, are going to want to join this industry once again. If you remember back in 2021, we had so many developers jumping ship, wanting to come build in Web3. This will happen again, and this will happen, and Altura is going to be up front the easiest way to go ahead and get involved in the industry. And there's so many games already building with Altura, so I cannot help but be bullish. And here they are on the Unity Asset Store, so they get a ton of exposure. They also have a Unity and an Unreal Engine SDK. So I am super bullish on Altura. I truly think this is one of the easiest 10 to 20 Xs come the next bull run. And I am not a moon boy with these predictions. That only puts this at a couple hundred million dollar market cap. That's the beauty of these things, guys. Could it go higher than that? Absolutely. I mean, it's a 10x from all-time highs. I think that's definitely going to happen in this next cycle, considering the building they've done in this bear market. At a $30 million market cap, I could see a couple hundred million here easily on this market cap. So first and foremost is Altura. I think with all-time highs of 44 cents and with the utility, with the amount of integrations that they have, with the new utilities coming out, I can't help but be bullish on Altura moving forward. So that's number one. And I will go ahead and say this is my highest conviction. I think this has very low downside and I ha it has super high upside, uh, the ALU token here. Number two, this is a token I haven't really talked about. 
I haven't talked about this one a lot. I've been doing research into it. And I got to say, this is one of the uh, sleeping giants, I think, heading into the next bull market. And this is Echelon Prime. The ticker here is Prime. This is a $46 million circulating market cap. That diluted market cap is a bit higher. It's lingering around $300 million. But honestly, the tokenomics here aren't like screaming, you know, dump on your head tokenomics from venture capitalists, etc. So this token is, I'll read the description to you because this is a multi-ecosystem token eventually. This will be used across multiple gaming ecosystems. And I like that. This could have high utility and high use cases. So it's the native token of the Echelon Prime Foundation, which is advancing the next generation of gaming. Echelon creates and runs and distributes tools to encourage innovation in and promote the growth of gaming models and economies. And the very first game to adopt and utilize Prime is Parallel. And this game has been getting lots of positive sentiments. All the streamers out there, uh, guys like Bryson, Jonah Blake, uh, Spike, etc. I've seen a lot of these big Web3 gamers, not necessarily Web3 investors, but the actual gamers are loving what they've uh, what they've seen with Parallel. Parallel is a sci-fi world and card game, um, and they actually are one of the first projects to build on base the new coinbase blockchain on chain summer parallel tcg just dropped a limited edition starter deck of 40 playable cards this is over on the coinbase blockchain so i love that they're a first adopter of the prime token i think that this game has a ton of potential to maybe even dethrone gods unchained and splinterlands as the best card game in web 3 because it looks to be that at this moment in time to be completely honest i love the aesthetic i love the gameplay i think this one has a lot of potential and then if you look here you know you can see the different sinks the claims uh the amount of you know uh, the amount of tokens that are being uh, put into sinks, the amount of tokens that are being uh, claimed from the prime pools the cumulative circulating supply so I do love that they go deep into the dashboard here. And is if a couple games, you know, all, all it takes is a couple games to adopt this token. And I think that it can do super well in the long haul, especially heading into the next bull. And guys, this one, I mean, it's launched in the dirt bear market, right? We are in the absolute doldrums of a bear market right now. Web3 gaming has been hit over the head. You know, people think that this industry is dead, but tokens like Echelon Prime, I think have a lot of potential, especially once it is eventually integrated in multiple ecosystems, which is their goal. I could totally see this market cap here being over a billion dollars in a bull run easily and i've seen multiple big brains in the gaming space say this is one of their absolute favorite projects heading into the next bull run all right so so far we have echelon prime prime and altura alu number three is going to be wag me games we've talked about this one a lot over on the crypto banter channel and inside my nft collection ttoo we gave a signal here um, that at its all-time high was up a little over 300 uh, percent and i mean or no, it was, it was about 200% or so. And if you look over the last, um, like this time period here, when we gave that signal, this has shown explosive growth. It has had a little bit of a pullback. The nature of buy the rumors, sell the news. The game came out on Google Play. And once again, gamers love it. I've seen the feedback. I've seen the people that have hopped into this thing on the Google Play Store and on, you know, it's on iPhone. If you have the test flight, if they give you access this game is legitimately fun. It's got PvP me mechanics, it's tower defense mechanics. It blends a lot of genres together. And knowing the team, Ian and Scott, you know, they're building relentlessly at a $30 million market cap and with 82% of the supply already circulating and they just continue to push updates like i said the game went live on google play in september they have a huge activation in front of potentially 300 million households which i'm super bullish on and then over the next 10 days uh, they have been releasing new characters so over the next 10 days you're going to see brand new characters released to the public here for wag me games so this is an individual game and this is an individual ecosystem 
I think the tokenomics have a lot of upside in the long haul. And I think that this game in general could capture a lot of the mobile market. So I'm betting big on Wagme Games. And even though it has pumped this $30 million market cap, I think it's still undervalued, to be completely honest with you. And this pullback has proven healthy, and I think it could be a fantastic accumulation throughout this bear market heading into the bull. Number four is a project that, once again, we got in super early on TTOO. I got a lot of people involved in the airdrop as well, so, you know, basically free money. I know a lot of people that got a few hundred, maybe even a few thousand dollars, depending on how much they participated, how many NFTs they had, as well as if they participated in the lock drop. So what they did here is very interesting. If you provided liquidity and locked it between two to 52 weeks, you got a free airdrop. And this one, uh, it's been performing interestingly. Um, if we actually pulled up the DEX tools, you would see that uh, because unfortunately, this data here on coin market cap isn't 100% correct. Uh, this one got up to 81 cents. It's taken a bit of a pullback here as people are waiting for more pools to open up and waiting for the single sided staking. Once that staking comes out and people can lock back up their tokens inside this ecosystem, I think it's going to be very bullish. I would compare this to the DeFi kingdoms of Arbitrum. If you are familiar with DeFi kingdoms, obviously their token has been beaten to death years later. But at the same time, when this one launched, it got up to $22 all time high. And more importantly, the market cap here uh, on the circulating was, a, and it's not going to show actually all the way back there. This was over a billion dollar fully diluted market cap in the bull market. And when this thing was at its peak, I could totally see, I don't know about a billion from Spartadex, but given the fact that it has DeFi and gaming layered in together, and the fact that it's on the Arbitrum network, it's the first DeFi Kingdom style game on the Arbitrum network. You come in here, you build up your land plots, you can go over to the decentralized exchange, you can trade your tokens, you can come in here and do a lot of different things in this ecosystem. It combines gamification and finance. I'm very bullish on Sparta decks. They just got a Bybit listing and knowing the team and talking with them, this is not the end. They're gonna get listings on a lot of different exchanges. They're gonna get this out in front of people and make it easy to access. So I am very bullish on the future of Spartadex. And this is wrong. Uh, it's, it's about a $50 million fully diluted market cap. Most of the tokens are vested from a six to 12 month time period. So I'm very bullish on accumulating this if we see a dip. So I have airdrop tokens here. So full disclosure, I'm sitting pretty with my airdrop. I'm gonna have that airdrop bag for the next run. I'm not DCAing into this necessarily. I'm just gonna keep my airdrop tokens and let them appreciate over time because I do believe with the system that they have built with the decks and the game, I could totally see a lot of the supply being burnt to buy gems, which uh, a third of it gets burned forever, all the money that goes into the gems. So the tokenomics here are very intricate and that real yield will then go back to the stakers, which is eventually what I'm going to do. I'm gonna stake my Sparta uh, for that real yield. So number four is Sparta decks. And then last but not least guys, I love GameSwift. So GameSwift is a new launch. GameSwift, uh, once again, although the fully diluted is almost 200 million here, the circulating market cap is only around 10 million with no token unlocks for a year. So that's the bullish thing here. I've spoke with the team. I've confirmed this information. There are no token unlocks for the next 12 months on GameSwift. This has had some good price appreciation. It got up to about 17, 18 cents after they had a buy a bit listing. It's now taking a little bit of a healthy pullback. Once again, I think that's completely healthy. If we can get back down to um, these pre buy bit levels, these pre pump levels, about eight cents. Because usually these new token launches, guys, they do take a little bit of a pullback. They do lose a little bit of liquidity, lose a little bit of momentum. I'm looking for that to happen here. If this gets back right around eight cents, even 10 cents, this could be a fantastic accumulation heading into the next bull run. This is a game launcher, a game SDK. 
a fully modular blockchain so games can come in, operate on their own chain with ZK technology. It's carbon neutral. It's cross-chain interoperable. They have like Web3 gaming identity profile features. They have their own SDK to be able to utilize just like Altura does. And they also have an analytics feature where you can go in, see the stats behind some of these games. I'm very bullish on GameSwift. And these are two teams that work closely together. They're partnered up and I've spoke with the team quite a bit and I love what they are doing behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and recap the five tokens. My top five low market cap, under 50 million, all of these under 50 million circulating with minimum token unlocks uh, from VCs that are going to dump on your head. That's essential. You don't want those types of tokens where people are going to come in, get those unlocks and these big funds are just going to dump the tokens. All of these really have pretty solid tokenomics. So Altura is number one. Prime is number two. I am looking at Wagme Games as my number three low cap token heading into the next cycle. I'm looking at Spartadex as number four at a three million circulating market cap at this time. And I am also very laser focused on GameSwift. And I posted this on Twitter and a lot of people did provide um, some some really good answers. I like Bytes in the Neo Tokyo ecosystem. I do like decentral, uh, yeah, decentral games. This is like a casino project. You know, Rollbit is performing like crazy right now. Um, G is a pretty good project. I like Wazder as well. Cedify is gonna do really well in the next bull run. Um, I love Wilder World. Uh, Kata, so Katana Inu. That's like a meme coin esque type of game, but the game actually looks really solid. Um, so a lot of people gave some pretty good answers here. Veracity, definitely one that I'm accumulating. Um, I, I would probably say Veracity belongs here, but it's not like a pure gaming token. So that's why it's not on this list. Just before anyone goes down below in the comments and says, what about Veracity? Because I believe Veracity is a, let's see, Veracity. Yeah, under a 50 million. So this would definitely be like number two behind Altura overall for me. But at the same time, it's not completely gaming. They have their ad technology. They have the streaming. There's a lot of different things here. So I won't consider this a pure gaming token. But at the same time, if it was, it would be number two on this list. So this will just be my honorable mention. And it's going to be on that honorable mention list because it's not a pure gaming token. One more honorable mention just for the low cap tokens would be Nakamoto Games. And the reason why this one will fall on an honorable mention, this is obviously a strictly gaming token, Nakamoto Games. They have a studio, marketplace, uh, whole infrastructure built out. And I'm really bullish on the future of Naka at a $33 million market cap. What I dislike is the fact that over the last year it has already eight to ten x so obviously you could take a look and say well it has a ton more upside as far as the market cap and it definitely does uh, i love this token and i think heading into the bull market this could be a huge winner uh, but this will fall on the honorable mentions strictly because it has pumped quite a bit i mean from this five cent level all the way up to where we are now. It is about a 9X in price. So I will put this on the outside looking in just because of that. Now, if it hadn't pumped 10X this year, this would probably be, um, yeah, this would probably honestly be one of the top tokens in my low cap stack. Uh, but at this moment in time, I would like to see a little bit more of a retrace potentially before uh, putting it in that top five, just due to the fact that it has run quite a bit. But I am very bullish on Naka uh, as well as the others, you know, Alu, Prime, Sparta, all these tokens that we talked about in this video. So um, yeah, I will put Naka also in the honorable mention. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you're bullish on some of these tokens, or if you have thoughts, leave them in the comment section down below. Hit the like button. Like I said, subscribe to this channel. We're, we're back on the Hustlepedia channel. We're going to be producing lots of content in correlation with the crypto banter shows. Guys, like the video, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys on the next one. As always, peace.